what's going on guys um sorry about my camera it's a little crooked of the holder on my it's to my windshield the uh, phone holder so be it that it may uh, i haven't posted anything in a little while i've been real busy with a lot of music um but i want to get on here and talk about something that's gonna be it's a hard lesson for me to learn here um i've known for years man to back up my data i've backed him up on hard drives and everything and um and i think i'm learning i'm gonna have to stick to backing this stuff up on a certain hard drive but probably multiple places in other words uh there's companies like a company called crash plan that for like ten dollars a month it's unlimited storage i advise you guys to do this um a lot of guys like uh jesse josephson was talking about this the other day back your sessions up most important is to get the sessions backed up. I mean, I backed up sessions and I had files for each publisher, uh, which, you know, I can recreate all that. But uh, what's happened here is that, you know, the hard drive is just in the safe. Like a few days ago or prior to Sunday, I think it was like Thursday, I backed some stuff up on my hard drive. I go Sunday because I'm going to move some new files. I'm going to reorganize. The hard drive won't connect to my MacBook. I'm like, oh dear God, it's a whole year and a half's worth of work. Something told me last year when I put a new hard drive because I was traveling is to back up, uh, keep that original music back up in the safe and then back it, that up to the hard drive I have now. So I had two. Um, I managed to get the hard drive to connect to a PC and I got about 80 sessions off of it. And I still, out of about 153 sessions, um, that's about how much music I've done over the last less than a year and a half guys actually not even a year and a half that's how much i've done in a year that's since july on that hard drive of last year i've been doing some work give you an idea how many, much music i do in a year very little of it was with anybody else or, or for anybody else for that matter but number one back your music up back your sessions up don't throw those sessions out because i'm telling you as even jesse stated and i think i've said this before whatever you do keep those sessions because a day may come where you may not think this but the day could come where you got a publisher or maybe there's a music supervisor or a network has a certain mix of your track they love using and they need you to recreate it because piecing it together on the, the two track wave file isn't as clean or they may need a different mix if you don't have that session you're dead in the water altogether you're going to lose that opportunity that's what's scaring me right now is i've I, i've had to ship my hard drive off there is light at the end of the tunnel and hope and i'm hoping and praying they can get it uh this company's probably done far worse than me i i i know for a fact that it's not a head crash on my hard drive because you can't hear it i've heard a head crash i've got a background in electronics and i work with computers and i know what a head crash sounds like now flip side is that the way they've made these hard drives the last few years they actually be hard to hear it could be and i don't even know it it seems that it's electronic because it sees the drive, but it's just not connecting to it. And the, the fact that I was able to get some off in some sessions, while it was weird because some of the sessions wouldn't transfer and some would. And the weird part about it was some of the recent sessions over the last six months. I don't know why that was. I really don't. Maybe a sector on that disc or something. I don't know. But it's a data transfer thing. We tried data cables, different things, and it just quit connecting all together. I couldn't get the thing to connect or mount on my MacBook Pro, but it did show up. So they do have techniques where they can get the drive, they can get that stuff off of that drive, but it's going to cost me. And it's a costly you know, lesson to learn that from this point forward, I advise you to use solid state hard drives because there's no moving parts, less of the crash just like these macbooks and these computers now they're going to solid state hard drives it's much more efficient much better much safer uh much less the liability per se um and maybe a backup to cloud like crash plan i'm telling you guys do this it, it, it will be uh a lifesaver for you i'm telling you if you're new in this business a lot of you guys watch this you already know what i'm talking about um i just had to fedex off to a company called on track o-n-t-r-a-c-k just like on track but one word it's on track.com they're a data recovery and they'll help you get rid of an erase data and get rid of information they can find embedded data in your hard drive you've deleted 
scary thought, but they can. That's why there ain't much you can get away with, folks, when you delete it off your hard drive. If they get that hard drive, they can still get that information. Uh, forensic crime labs can do that stuff, so don't go cr committing any crimes. Please don't do that. You'll kill your music career. But anyway, um, I just, I can't stress this enough, and hopefully on track, I think they're going to get this thing by tomorrow or day after. They said in a the day they'll know after evaluating it. I'll get a call, some information, and then they'll give me a price. The guy told me, he said starting is like 400 bucks. But I, I, I've just got to chalk it up as that plus the hard drive I buy is, that's just pretty much what the hard drive costs. So, it'll um, chalk that off of my taxes this year because uh, I'm not, I can't eat that from 100%. If the tax man will let me write it off, and they do, it's an expense in this. That's what we're going to do here, folks. Um, it's frustrating. It really is. You don't want to spend that kind of money to do that, but I'm thankful someone could get that information because that's our life's work, and it's scary. You know, you, I keep the safes in fireproof safes to protect that for a reason, and uh, it's important you do that fireproof pouches and put them in safes where it's not for security or somebody stealing it it's for the fire and, and water damage or anything you got to do it uh you just want to keep that stuff where someone can't look to find it and, you know and just take it and not know what was in there that's a, another fear but that's where your cloud comes about your cloud you know as some people would say i wouldn't ultimately rely on the cloud and i agree because if that company goes out of business you might not be able to get your data back but it's a backup you still have your hard drives and solid state hard drives are the way to go they're more expensive but it's something i'm going to have to do I, i've got three hard drives that are not solid state and one i use for my vsts and stuff for my computer that i can always recreate that if i had to as well but i do believe that the, the others that i've got for my music backup is just going to be it's going to be solid state folks there's nothing you can do i got to get rid of these hard drives that um, have moving parts because you get a head crash there's no fixing that and hopefully there's a company that can get that stuff uh, recovered for you so that's what I'm hoping for here so I will keep you posted on the next video on how that worked how my experience was and I wanted to pass that on thanks so much for watching guys and please whatever you do just back your stuff up Keep your information organized at step two. In other words, know where all your music is at. Have files for each publisher. And what I'll do is I, I'm probably not going to worry about just backing up a WAV file of that mix, but just a list of tracks of each publisher. I don't know. I'll figure that out. But either way, have organization. Know where your music is at. Be very careful what you do in this business. And be methodical. It really will help in the long run. Have a system in place, and it will work for you. Anyway, I'm off, and I will let you know in the next video on what I find out. Fingers crossed. Say a prayer. Anything. Any good vibes to send my way. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Be good.